Bear with me here for a second. You got to see this nonsense here. Some people, before they commit murder, already show they are capable of it. Should we wait for them to commit a crime or prevent it from happening? There's a lot of testimony. We have some ourselves from people who've been through the system who describe uh, torture, uh, overcrowding, separation from families. These sound as important issues. The main thing is taking a person on the edge of crime and returning them to normal society. Uh. These then are pre-criminals, wearing uniforms and sleeping up to ten a room with a shared toilet and no idea how many months or years they'll have to stay. Alright, here's, here's a couple points I'm trying to make here. You think that that's China, right? You think that we are not capable of doing such things, but you're wrong. It's happened here. It happened here. I forget how many children, Jewish children, were turned away um, only to be murdered. They interned the Japanese people during uh, when Pearl Harbor was bombed. They put them in camps. Um, they're preparing camps all around us, I know that Fort Indian Town Gap was refurbished, quote unquote, after it was supposed to be closed down. Um, these places are going up all around us. The conspiracy theorists, with the they're building WalMarts and then closing them down. Um, very, very look. It wouldn't be too hard to put a low security detention centers there because if you look in the empty buildings they're perfect dorm style living you have the back where you could put huge kitchens with no access um other than look it's real easy the yard's already fenced in for exercise it's happening and it's happening right in front of your face and People look at people like me like you're out of your mind, um, you're a conspiracy. I never was. Never. I didn't believe in UFOs. I didn't believe in, you know, my an associate told me once that um, he had been visited by, he had seen a UFO, so he started praying to it. Like... You know, that I know your life was a mess, obviously. Your life was a mess. Look, all of our lives are a mess. We all got burned. We all got screwed. I screwed my children. And now they're, they're paying the price for it. Spiritually and physically. But... I'm not a conspiracy theorist. It's not conspiracy when you can see it with your eyes and t and touch it. It's no longer conspiracy. It's a fact. The facts are that, and you get offended at this tough. Too bad. I have to tell the truth. The church is weaker than we've ever been, but we have more members now than we ever have. Um, people are seeking other spiritual ways to obtain godliness at all turns. Everything except for Christ. Because we've made the word Christ a curse. In China, you can buy children for nothing. India, places like that, Malaysia, you can buy children for nothing. People throw them out in the streets. But we do business with them. The, the mica 
um, mining thing I saw the other day, with them putting them kids in the holes, breathing that garbage in, they're going to be dead. They'll, they're going to die, and they get nothing. All the factories, Donald Trump, you want to do something, man, go over there and, and build a factory there and make them pay the people a living wage. This world that we live in is horrible. Do you know why? Because we sit here with our giant televisions and oh, we for two refrigerators. You know, we got instant access to food whenever you want it. I got some mustard. I'm just too lazy to wash that. That's an empty jar of pickles. Horseradish. Oh my god. Oh my god. But everywhere, all over the place, all around us, is the worst possible situations that you can imagine. The worst possible, horrible. Man, maybe I'm about to have a heart attack. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Most people in other countries don't even know what a roll of toilet paper looks like. So, oh my God, I gotta go. I gotta go, but don't think it's just China, we're next. It's coming here. It's coming here, and if you believe in Christ, then go to the camp. Or don't. Walk away. Preach righteousness. Teach the people the truth. Reap the harvest. And fill them with the Holy Spirit. Teach them the way. That's the problem. Jesus said, feed my sheep. And we're making converts. Converts are going around, and they're going to this nonsense feel good churches where quite frankly look I'm sorry but that's not Christ okay you're not there to feel good about yourself that may be a side effect feeling good but you're not there for that what you're there for is to praise God obey his word We got to do something. I'm convinced it's too late, but maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe I know what it would take. We have to all band together. We have to become one. But how is that going to possibly happen? People argue over the things such as you don't have to be baptized. You don't have to be immersed. You, you can be sprinkled. Do you know how petty that is and how ridiculous? I mean, it might be important, but when Jesus said, do what? When John said, I have need to be baptized of you, by you, he said, no, we were going to do, we we're going to fulfill the requirement that God has put out there. And um, so, I don't know, unbaptized, you get baptized by the Holy Spirit, too. So, 
all this nonsense. It's just got to stop. But, yes, gloom and doom. I don't care what you call me. This is what I know. This is what I see. It's over. Time's up. If you're trying to buy a Mercedes, knock it off. Why is that light blinking? Do you see that? It's not blinking on... I can't say blinking, but it sure is blinking on here. It's not blinking on... It's blinking on my phone, though. Is that a little camera in there? It's possible. It's possible, man. So... Anyway... Oh my God, I just remembered, man. She got a tattoo. A tattoo. She said it, it was pricked, but I've, I've done very good prick tattoos, but I've never seen one that well, especially someone that's a novice and that said that they did it on themselves. I have never seen anything like that. I should have took a, tat a picture of it because I had them all over me. And the best one I did was that Celtic symbol for death from the Led Zeppelin album. And it looked professional, but you could still see where it was pricked. And I looked at that and you couldn't see one dot. It was perfect lines, two perfect lines, man. Somebody did a tattoo. Ron, if I find out it was you, man, I ain't going to do nothing to you. I might just give all that. Nah, I ain't going to do nothing to you, man. God's going to handle it if you did that to her. But somebody did it to her. She didn't do it to herself. Well, and it was a stupid one. I told her, man, if you want tattoos, look, I'll sign the paper you, but you got to get, you got to arrange for a sleeve or something. You can't just start putting random tattoos on you. Um... But she did it. And I don't know. I just feel... Personally... You know, family, I've been trying to just push it away. Because all it's doing is just killing me. So...